Okay, this is a test of solving circuit problems online uh, via video. Uh, this is problem 318 out of the textbook Alexander and Sadiku. And we're going to solve this problem by nodal analysis. And we want to find the voltages V1, V2, and V3 at node 1, node 2, and node 3. Okay, um, so the first thing we want to do is select a reference node, which is conveniently selected at the bottom. V is equal to 0. And the next thing we might want to look at is are any of the nodes connected by what we might call a super node. Um, and yes, they are no, um, V1 and V3 are connected by a 10 volt source in between them and V3 is at the higher voltage so one equation that we have is V3 is equal to V1 plus 10 so they're linked together so you want we have a super node at which goes around nodes 1 and two or three sorry super node okay so now what we're going to do is um, do KCL at some of these nodes and um, see what equations we're going to need to come up with the voltage at every node so let's just start at node 1, and the voltage at 1 I'll call V1, of course, at node 2, V2, and node 3, V3. So at node 1, um, let's draw the currents. Let's make the currents all go away from node 1. So I'm just going to draw their directions and write all the currents in terms of the node voltages. At V2 I'll put the current moving to the right and then there's that independent current source 5 amps and at V3 in case we need it we'll um, have those and of course we have a super node 1 to 3 so we're really going to do KCL at that super node. So KCL 1 to 3. So what goes in or out of the supernode? Well, what's going in is this current here, which is V2 minus V3 over 2. What's coming out is a current over the 4 ohm resistor over this 2 ohm resistor and over this 8 ohm resistor. So over the 4 ohm it's V1 minus 0, okay, where the reference node is, over 4 plus V1 minus V2 over 2, which represents the current through this 2 ohm resistor. And then we also have current through the 8 ohm resistor. So that's plus V3 minus 0 over 8. Okay. Um, and then we can convert this into a function. This should be V1. Okay. Um, an expression in terms of V1, V2, and V3. But we know that V3 is linked to V1 by this equation here. So there's our first equation. This is our second equation. And then finally we'll do KCL at 2. And by doing it at 2, I have current coming in, which is V1 minus V2 over 2. There's also 5 amps coming in, plus 5. And the current that is leaving is V2 
minus V3 over 2. V2 minus V3 over 2. And this is the third equation. So now you have three equations to solve three unknowns. And the rest is algebra. And that's it.